because there was weed in it. Yeah. And then slowly I started, like, I could feel it. Yeah. It was like, I've never done shrooms, so it was like a full-on fight. I was like, whoa. It's a whoa. weird experience. I ended up just watching Dan Soder do Macho Man impressions <laughs> for literally for like three hours. And I was fully like, this is the best thing ever. This is... <laughs> This is the best impersonation I've ever seen. Watch Dan Soder do Macho Man. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. It's so, and he does ISIS, ISIS Macho Man. He's oh like, God. Letting, the, <laughs> he's, <laughs> letting the Jew pig run your country, not going to happen anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, We're going to rain down on you. It's, it's the so swords of justice, bend to the top. Met Allah. <laughs> Dude, it's so, I'm not even he, close. He, he hit those like, yeah. Yeah, oh, hits, yeah, and he's got the hands, dude. Oh, he's like, dude. been to the top. Met Allah. Came back down. Dude, dude it's, he, it's unreal you how You gotta good put it is. a link to it, dude. It's and I was, so I was fucking funny. I was on shrooms for the first time. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is incredible. This is it. And then we started watching, uh. Macho Man highlights and I was on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> it was the fun, dude. Seeing your kid, imagine being a dad and you come in and your little boy's watching TV and it's just some yoked out, coked up <laughs> steroid dude on the screen that's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you, Hulk Hogan, you think you're tough? Oh yeah, well let me tell you something. <laughs> it's just like, you walk into a room, your kid's sitting Indian style in front of that, you're like, what the fuck are you, what, what is this? When the WWF was new, oh, and, it like, fucking, been crazy. and fucking Ultimate Warrior was coming on the TV, just like screaming crazy shit at your kid. I mean, in Mexico, it hit quick, dude. Mexico, they, they, well, all, they, they all slid their silver <laughs> luchador masks on and jumped right on board. Mexico was they, prime. Mexico loves <laughs> professional wrestling, dude. It's crazy. Were you guys the ones who brought up... Uh, <laughs> they slipped all those masks over their head, dude. It's over. Dude, is it, well, if, if you're white trash, you're in. You're all in on... Mag- on, on yeah. ra- also, black people. They like, they'd be like, There's a lot oh, of love, fucking right. black wrestling fans, which I, right. I remember when I was a kid, I went on my friend's birthday party. We went to WWF. Yeah. Which was fucking sick. And uh, I remember because for some reason I didn't think black people liked wrestling. I never even thought about it. And there was a bunch <laughs> of black dudes behind me that were just yelling. And this is like fourth grade, and I'll never forget what they were yelling. They were they like, smack them with your tits, China. <laughs> they were talking to China. <laughs> and I just remember black dudes behind me being like, take your titties out. <laughs> I, was, I was like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's such a funny, formative experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a sex video too. Night and in China. she's dead. Yes. She died. Yeah, she, she, died? she well, she went out the same way Bourdain did. She was like, I've accomplished. She, she was like, I've accomplished everything, and she went out. Happy. Kill herself? <laughs> she <laughs> killed herself in a happy. <laughs> <Went out> happy. <laughs> she went out happy. God, that's how this whole thing started. Um, <laughs> um, were you guys the ones that uh, sent this link or not? But there was, uh, I think it was like Booker T. He was a wrestler. Oh, and dude, he dropped the N word. He drops the N word, and it's the funniest thing. Have you ever, seen it? Dude. Booker T's not. He's white. Though. He's black. Booker T's black <laughs> as fuck. How do you mean he dropped the N-word? Well, he said the N-word on TV. Oh. Which he said he called Hulk Hogan the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it, dude. I, I'm going to say it. I don't care. He's like, he's like, after Lex Luthor, we want the gold, sucker. He's like, <laughs> Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right when he says it, he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He puts his hand over his face. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch it because his partner is Stevie Ray <laughs> Steve, is Harlem Heat was his partner it's just huge this guy's gotta be like 6'9 six, six, dude this guy's gigantic he does not flinch at all dude when Booker T says the n-word Stevie Ray's just like hell yeah <laughs> fuck yeah dude we are here to fuck shit off dude but yeah you need to watch Booker T's reaction as soon as he said he's like we're coming for you and then he's like god damn it <laughs> one more wrestling thing because when they introduced the Shockmaster, I've showed you that, right? No. Oh, my oh the Shockmaster. The yes, Shockmaster yes. is the funniest, <laughs> the funniest fucking thing you will ever see, dude. This is so Google uh, or you go to YouTube and type in Shockmaster. Yeah. And the introduction of this guy is like wrestling because the acting is so funny. It's a bunch of roided out dudes that are like, "We're gonna fuck you up," and the other guy's like, "Well, we got a secret partner, and he's gonna shock the world." None other than the shock master. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, this guy's supposed to come out of a wall and he just falls. 
<laughs> he just falls into the room. And his, his mask was a storm, a bedazzled stormtrooper mask. He's this big, giant, fat guy. And when he falls out, his mask falls off. <laughs> He's got to like scramble to pick it up and put it back on. Who the fuck thinks of wrestling know, characters, dude? Oh, my God. It must have been so fucking funny to think of him now, like on a recliner with a beard, being like, I had it. I was all <laughs> well, there. He was, according to this thing I watched about it, he was set to be like the next big character. Oh, but he but tripped. then his intro, when he tripped, everyone was like, ah, shot <laughs> a loser. Shotmaster is a fucking loser. <laughs> Imagine the bitterness of that. Oh, fuck. You, you didn't crave any wrestlers? I was the dice, I was dice man. No. I, What's I, this? Well, you, I was saying. <laughs> you were dice man? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we created wrestlers. When you know, you we, yeah, we take the, the pillows off the couch. Yeah, and you have wrestling matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so my character was Dice Man. And I had uh, <laughs> like the, the dice that you'd hang over your windshield wiper. Or, so or your rear view mirror. And that was like my special thing that I'd throw around your ankle. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm just thinking about I'm thinking about the shock master dude at home living with his wife. Yeah, dude. His wife's talking shit. And he's in the recliner. Eventually, he just gets up and does a full running clothesline. Like, I couldn't answer my. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck dude but yeah mush- oh mushrooms God. and also I'm gonna let that dice man slide <laughs> I'm gonna let you off the hook on that corny no, you're shit you're a little kid you're a little kid you're having fun <laughs>